This paper describes the implementation and deployment of an automated grader. The grader was used to facilitate the teaching of a course on an online education platform, called edX. The course focused on teaching spatial computational thinking through a series of parametric modeling assignments. Over the period of a course, more than 3,000 assignments were graded. In the following presentation, the automated grader is described and discussed. The rise of the web provides people new ways to interact and learn. In recent years, massive open online courses, also known as MOOCs, have allowed students to gain new skills and knowledge. One popular MOOC platform is the edX platform. Such MOOCs can incorporate assessments that are automatically graded. Automated grading allows students to work at their own pace while still getting immediate feedback on the work they submit. Numerous systems for automating assessment have been developed for learning textual programming languages. One of the earliest systems was the AGSICP for COBOL programming. More recently, two popular systems are WebCat and Stepic. In modern MOOC platforms, an external grader may be set up to assess the submissions by students. In the spatial discipline, spatial computational thinking is increasingly being recognized as a fundamental skill. Yet, no automated assessment approaches have been developed for parametric modeling. Our paper describes the development of an automated grader for parametric modeling assignments. The grader was built for a web-based parametric modeling tool called Mobius Modeler. This image shows the Mobius Modeler interface. On the left, we have the code created by the user. On the right, we have the model that gets generated when the code is executed. The following short clip features the use of our automated grader. The student first saves their Mobius code script to a local file. The student then switches to the edX website, and uploads their code script. Once they click submit, the code script will be graded in the cloud. After a few seconds, the results are displayed. In this example, the code script receives a score of 41%. The automated grader was used in a second year module, Spatial Computational Thinking, at the National University of Singapore. The module consisted of 150 students, most of whom did not have prior scripting or programming knowledge. The module focused on the development of algorithms for generating complex, parametric 3D models. It was taught on the edX MOOC platform using videos and online exercises. All the modeling assessments were performed in Mobius Modeler. The development of the automated grader required two different platforms to be linked. The main platform used by the students was the edX MOOC platform. The actual grading process was executed on Amazon AWS Cloud Platform. Our grader takes the dynamic analysis approach. We refer to the parametric models as code scripts. Each code script has a set of parameters. When executed, the code script generates a 3D model. Weekly, the instructors defined a parametric modeling problem and uploaded a code script representing the correct answer to the AWS platform. Students then performed the modeling assignment and uploaded their answer code script to the edX platform. In the edX platform, the student code script were added to a grading queue. The AWS server would then fetch the code script from the queue and grade them. Within a maximum of 20 to 30 seconds, students would see the grade and feedback display on their browser. Highlighted in bold, our paper focuses on the grader for parametric models. The grading process compares the student code script to the solution code script. This process consists of three steps. 
In step 1, the student code script is checked to make sure it has the correct set of parameters. In step 2, the two code scripts are executed, and the results are compared. In step 3, the final score is calculated. Next, we will go through each of these steps in more detail. In step 1, the parameters in the answer code script were compared to the student code script. If the submitted model had missing parameters, the grader would exit and assign a zero grade. Step 2 is the most complex step, and has a number of sub-steps. First, the grader will have a number of parameter sets that it will use for grading. Each parameter set will result in one test. For each test, the grader will execute both code scripts, and compare the results. Each executed code script will generate a 3D geometric output. We refer to them as the student model, and the answer model, respectively. The student and answer models are compared, and their similarity will determine the assessment score. One complication that has to be addressed was the normalization of the generated models. The ordering of the geometric objects and entities in a student model should not impact the correctness of the model. For example, the answer model may contain two polygons. If the student model contains the same two polygons, it should be marked as correct, irrespective of the polygon ordering. The normalization process consisted of two stages. First, the vertex order within individual objects was normalized. For open polylines, they were modified in order to guarantee that the coordinate values for the start vertex were always less than the end vertex. For polygons and closed polylines, they were modified in order to guarantee that the first vertex was always the vertex with the lowest coordinate values. Second, the order of the objects in the model was normalized. First, a data string was generated for each object in the model, based on the data defining that object. This data included the coordinates of the vertices. We refer to this data string as the fingerprint for that object. For objects that were not exact clones, each fingerprint was guaranteed to differ. The normalization process then sorted all objects according to their fingerprints. Once normalization was completed, entities in the student model and answer model could be directly compared. In step 3, the score is calculated. This consisted of two sub-steps. First, a score was calculated for each test. All entities in the answer model were matched against the entities in the student model. If a match was found, then the score was incremented by one. The score awarded to each test is the ratio of the total score to the maximum possible score. The final score is then calculated as the average of the scores for all tests. More details can be found in the paper. Feedback information returned from an automated assessment is essential for supporting student learning. Feedback messages highlight to the students how marks were lost. Students may then rectify the errors, hopefully receiving a better grade in their subsequent attempts. Our automated grader was used to facilitate the spatial computational thinking course on the edX platform. The modeling assignments increased in complexity as the semester progressed. At the start of the semester, the assignments started quite simple. As the students learned new concepts and techniques, the assignments also grew in complexity. The parametric stair model served as an introductory modeling task to more advanced concepts. As an example of a typical submission to the automated grader, the task has been chosen to be described in detail. This assignment was divided into four parts. First, 
the students were tasked to create a staggered polyline which would translate to the profile of the stair. Step, depth, height, and number were set as parameters. Second, the staggered polyline was used to generate a closed polygon. Next, the cross-section polygon was extruded in the direction of its normal. The extrusion distance was based on another parameter. Finally, the polyline rails were added. The height of the rails was also defined by another parameter. Following the submission through edX, the model was run through three tests. Each generated model was positionally compared to the one generated by the answer algorithm. The fractional score calculated from the average of the three tests was returned to edX, and was converted into the edX weighted grade. This image also shows the most detected error for the task. A polygon with a reversed list of positions was determined to have its normal pointed in the opposite direction. The face opposite to the polygon's normal is rendered with a darker shade in the viewer. A reversed polygon is treated as a different polygon. With one polygon missing in a model with 56 entities, a score of 55 out of 56, or 0.98, was given for the first test. The submission was scored similarly for the next tests. The task was awarded a final score of 0.98, and was automatically adjusted to the graded weight on edX. Over the period of the course, over 3000 submissions were registered. In general, the automated grader achieved the desired results. It gave students immediate feedback on their parametric modeling assignments, allowing them to learn at their own pace. However, feedback from students also highlighted that they often did not understand why a model was being marked as incorrect. Following some improvements to the grader, we observed a gradual decrease in the number of submissions with extra or reversed entities. Our ongoing research aims to investigate the extent to which the visual programming language can support computational thinking concepts required for constructing complex parametric models. This research paper presented a framework using modern cloud technologies, which may be replicated on other web-based parametric modeling systems. Our team has since expanded the use of the grader to a professional certificate program on edX. The course concluded in June and had over 3,000 students enrolled. We are doing a rerun of the course this September, so look out for it on edX.org. Thank you.